Good morning, sweethearts. Rise and shine. Today, we are going to introduce our new vocabulary words of the story Wolf Island. But before we introduce the new words, we will first go over context clues. Yes, just like we always do, because context clues are very important to help us learn and understand new words. Context clues are clues or hints that help me figure out the meaning of an unknown word some examples on context clues are definitions, synonyms, antonyms, examples, and explanations. So, when you, when you are stuck and you don't know what a word means, put your dictionary aside and look for these clues. The definition of the word could be within the sentence itself. You can also look for synonyms, or maybe an antonym is there for you. And sometimes they provide examples on a word. Moreover, explanations are also provided in some cases. So these clues help me understand what a word means. Make sure to look carefully like a detective for these clues or hints within the passage itself. To begin with, definitions. A definition is the meaning of a word. Here is an example. Mr. Fry is an affable principal. He is pleasantly easy to approach and always friendly. Over here, the meaning or the definition of the word affable is pleasantly easy to approach and always friendly. So, you, if you don't know what the word affable means, the definition or the meaning of it was provided in the text itself. Number two, we have synonyms. Synonyms are words that have the same meaning or almost the same meaning. Here's an example. Mr. Fry is quiet affable. In fact, he reminds me of Miss Baker. Do you remember how kind she was? So, the words affable and kind are synonyms. They have the same meaning. Number three, the third context clue that helps me understand what a word means is antonyms. Antonyms are words that have opposite meanings. Here's an example. I miss Mr. Fry. Our new principal is cranky and unapproachable. Mr. Fry was so affable. Over here, the words cranky and unapproachable are antonyms or synonyms or opposites of the word affable. Good job. Number four, we have examples. Now, sometimes they provide examples on the word itself. Mr. Fry is an affable principal. He knows everybody's name. If you have a problem, talk to him. So the examples that were provided on the word affable are he knows everybody's name, and if you have a problem, talk to him. In some cases, they provide an explanation on the word itself to know what it means. So all of these are clues or hints that help me understand or know what a word means. Let us now introduce our new words. Let us begin with the word depended. Depended means counted or relied on. Here's a sentence. If I need any help, I can always depend or rely on Josh. Now, which context clue did I use in this sentence? Pause the video and think. Well done to the ones who said synonyms because the words depend and rely are synonyms. They have the same meaning. Moving on to the word well-being. Well-being is the state of health and comfort. Here's, an ex here's a sentence. Healthy diet that includes fruits, vegetables, grains, and fish can increase a person's well-being. Hmm. Which context clue did I use in this sentence? Good job. I used examples. Now, examples on a person's well-being is to eat healthy by having fruits, vegetables, grains, and fish. So you can increase your state of health by eating or having a healthy diet. Moving on to the word population. Population is the number of animals or people living in a place, just like you see in the image. Here's a sentence. Now, as I read the sentence, think of the clue that helped you figure out what the word population means. The population or number of people in the country is around 10 million, which is a small number compared to the world population. Now, which context clue was used in the sentence? Think, come on. I know you can do it. You can figure it out. Which context clue did I use? Well done to the ones who said definition. 
The definition or the meaning of the word population is right next to it. Population is the number of people in a place. Good job. Moving on to the word balance. Balance means enough different plants and animals to keep a habitat healthy. Here's a sentence. Life on the island was back in balance, resulting in equitable populations and enough food for all animals. Hmm. So we need to keep things balanced. In the story, the animals were not balanced when the wolves moved to the mainland and when they had to leave their island. Why? Because the number of deer increased because there were no wolves to feed on them on the island. However, the number of deer decreased or became less because the wolves ate the deer that were on the mainland. So what do you think? Which context clue did I use in this sentence? Again, life on the island was back in balance, result resulting in equitable population and enough food for all animals. Well, wow. If you used that explanation, then good job. I provided an explanation on the word imbalance by saying that, resulting in equitable population and enough food for all animals. Good job. This means that there was enough different plants and animals to keep a healthy habitat. Our last word for today is available. Available means ready to use. Here's a sentence and think of the context clue that I used in the sentence. Since the game was available on the App Store, I downloaded it onto my cell phone and began playing it. Unlike the other game, which was unavailable, I think you know which context clue I used to know what the word available means. Hmm. Good job. I used antonyms. The words available and unavailable are antonyms or opposites. Another context clue that was used in the sentence was the explanation I provided after the word available. So I downloaded onto it, I downloaded it onto my cell phone and began playing it. So over here, that's an explanation on how the game was available when I downloaded it. Good job. So again, available and unavailable are antonyms or opposites. Sometimes there is more than one clue within the text to help me understand what a word means. Good job, sweethearts.